Hi Pisces. I am having microphone problems tonight, you guys. I'm sorry, but I will talk loud. It's Sunday, today, February 25th, 2024. Let's look at your tarot cards and see what messages come out for you today, Pisces. Happy birthday, you guys. Happy birthday. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this video? Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's see what your tarot cards are today. The first one you have is the moon. This is Pisces Cancer energy, so that's your energy showing up as the very first card. Okay, the next card you have is the Three of Wands. There's someone here that you that you were waiting for. The King of Pentacles, this person, they may be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn or have one of those energies in their charts. They don't have to. And then you have the Eight of Swords here underneath the moon. And the Page of Swords in the center of your reading. And then you have the Eight of Cups. The King of Cups, the Three of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Nine of Coins, and the Lovers, Gemini Energy. This is a soulmate, Pisces, and it's kind of giving me like this spooky type, cloudy, dark sky type of energy like where something's happening and you're not sure what's going on. You're in your emotions. You're, you're waiting for someone to show up. They're not showing up. It's like you're feeling, if you notice on the moon card here, you will see two dogs. One's a domesticated dog. One is a wolf, like a wild dog. There's chains. This crab, or I think it's a crab, it represents you. And I feel like this person is bringing out the wolf inside of you. Okay? That's what I'm feeling like. Because I see this wolf is like howling at the moon and there's darkness here and you're not sure what's going on. You're standing here waiting. Could it be you were waiting for someone who was going to show up and they never showed up? This king of pentacles. It's a very masculine energy that I'm picking up on today. Tell me why the moon is here. Yeah, there's a betrayal here. The Ten of Swords is here. So there's some type of a betrayal. Because whoever this person is, they leave you in the energy of the moon. And I, I'm almost feeling like it's scary. Like you're not sure what's going on. The Queen of Swords is here and the Five of Cups. The two cups that the two of you share together are still standing, but they're like on the side. And something here is, it's making you think, it's making you trying to figure something out. And you wait. The devil is here. Capricorn energy. Tell me why the three of wands is here. You have the two of coins. So here they come. They show up. 
are starting to show up. You can see them off in the distance. You can see the ship in the distance. You know the ship is coming in. You know they're coming in. But you're, they put you in this energy of the mind and feeling stabbed in the back. And so you're going back and forth. What should I do? Should I go or should I stay? Why is the two of pentacles here? Justice. And if you notice on the justice card, the person on the justice card is blindfolded. There's a blindfold here. You're wondering whether to stay or whether to go. This is Libra energy because... um. What this person's doing to you, it's not fair. It's not right. This person leaving you with blindfolds on. Again, there's like dark skies here. What is going on? Let's look at them. Let's see what's going on. Why is the King of Pentacles here? The Five of Coins. This person likes to go ghost. Okay, that's why the Five of Coins is here. Why is the five of coins here? Judgment. This person's making really bad decisions, all right? Um, this is them making decisions. This is them doing what they're doing. Um, the seven of cups here with the devil, I feel like someone has some type of an addiction. And whatever that addiction is, it's going to be different for all of you, but this person has some type of an addiction which is causing them to do this, to make these bad judgment calls. Could be something online that they're doing here, okay? They're doing something. And whatever they're doing there, it leaves you blindfolded, up in your mind, up in your thoughts, constantly thinking, feeling like your hands are tied. If you're constantly thinking like this, then you're in an energy where there's so much going through your mind that in the day-to-day -day life, you are, or hours in the day, you're spending, wasting time in your mind, wondering what's going on instead of focusing on the tasks, the things that need to be done. That's why your hands are tied. Tell me why the Eight of Swords is here. See, even work, all right? Even when you're at work, when you're trying to work, you feel like your hands are tied. You feel blindfolded. You feel like you can't pay attention. You can't focus. Tell me why the Page of Swords is here. So you're looking for information here, Pisces. And finally, it's like, I can't do it anymore. And this is causing a tower moment in the center of your reading, a breakdown. This is you looking for information. And eventually, it's like, I can't do it anymore. This is you holding back. Let's just end this. I cannot be in my head anymore. And here I see you doing that, walking away. You're not sitting there holding these cups in your hand anymore like you were up here sitting around these cups and up in your head wondering what's going on. There's... I don't know. I don't I don't like it. Strength. It's very difficult on you, Pisces. This is Leo energy. Tell me why the Eight of Cups is here. Instead of focusing on, okay, what am I gonna make for dinner tonight? You know, sitting around having a good time in your day-to-day -day life, whether this person is there or not, you could be having fun alone. But instead, this person leaves you like this. What is going on? And so here, 
I'm seeing as you walk away, it's like the blindfolds are falling off. You have a smile on your face. You know what's going on. The hermit is here, so you could be spending some time alone right now. This is Virgo energy. But um, the sun is coming in. The happiest card in the tarot deck on top of a wish fulfillment because the sun illuminates everything so that you can see everything clearly. The devil energy has left you feeling blindfolded like your hands are tied even when you're alone. Like this card, you're alone. But you don't know what's happening, what's going on. There's darkness here. Here, this is a single energy. The blindfolds are off. You're smiling. You, you're you able to think clearly again with the sun and spending time alone. So I really see you pulling your energy back from whoever this person is, and it brings you clarity. The sun is Leo energy. I think I told you guys this already, and... The Hermit is Virgo energy. And here they are again. They're showing up as a strong masculine energy. This could be male or female, but this person's energy in your reading here is showing up as strong masculine. Like someone who is a very masculine type of person. Tell me why the King of Cups is here. Which this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. But this is not you, Pisces. Why is the King of Cups here? I'm seeing here, I see you receiving messages here in the future from this King of Cups, this person. Why is the Eight of Wands here? See, look, very strong masculine energy. Another King, the King of Wands. The King of Wands is showing up. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy because this King of Wands, just like I always tell you guys, they don't like to take no for an answer. They feel you leaving them behind. They feel you walking away. They feel that they're losing you. It's almost desperate energy. The next card you have here in this reading, okay, this feels, this king, masculine energy here feels desperate to me here in the future. The next card you have is the three of swords. The two of swords. I'm seeing you feeling happy here, Pisces, but we can't deny the fact that this is someone that you love. We have the lovers. And so there's there's times here in the future where I'm seeing your energy changing to where you feel sadness. You feel heartbroken. You... Uh, you have to decide which way to go here with the Two of Swords, feeling stuck in the mind. Because whoever this person is, they're going to put you up on a pedestal with the Six of Wands here in the future and try to win you back. And so it's going to be like a battle of the heart and the mind is what I'm feeling like. And then you have the Page of Cups. So I'm seeing you sending a, a message back. Why is the Page of Cups here? This message you send back shows up here as the Seven of Wands, of feeling defensive, all right? You're feeling defensive now, pushing back ab about reconciliation, about coming together, being all happy again. Because this energy this person is giving to you, it's a burden to you. It's like this has happened more than one time. You keep picking up wand after wand after wand. And it's 
every time they do this and the sky becomes dark and this represents represents an ending to you showing this person for you to show this person your true queen of cups energy that you want to show them that loving giving sweet unconditional love is a heavy burden to you because they keep leaving you like this All right, Pisces, let's clarify the last two cards that are showing up here. So you need to make a choice. When the lovers show up, Gemini energy, this represents a choice. The choice of being with this person, because the option is here, or choosing to be single. The Nine of Pentacles is here, which is a single energy. Let's clarify this. We all have free will. Spirits just want you to know the choice is yours. Spirits, why is the Nine of Pentacles here? You're fighting an inner battle about this, Pisces. Um, about this change, this tower moment about letting this tower moment as everything falling apart, everything shattering to the ground, a fight breaking out here. And the lovers, this choice, let's see if this is a good choice or not, because if you choose to be single, I'm seeing a tower moment here and like some, some inner battling with yourself. Is this the right thing? Is this the right decision? Tell me why the lovers are here. Let's look at this choice of remaining with whoever this is. Why are the lovers here? Look at look at their their strong masculine energy. The King of Swords and the King of Wands. Yes, they can be the king of wands and they can be very flirty, very attractive. But this person's very stubborn and they're going to do what they want to do when they want to do it. And they don't care. They just expect you to be there. They expect you to be consistent, but they can do whatever they want to do. See, look, look at that. There's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of attraction here. But there's a lot of inconsistency and a lot of sword, sharp energy coming from this person that you're dealing with. All right, that was a very straightforward reading. I'm doing this reading at 3 a.m. and so um, it's it's like the witching hour um, and the energy is stronger in my opinion at 3 a.m. and so and I can feel it in the readings when I do them at 3 a.m. it's it's very sharp and to the point. What does Pisces need to know? Advice for Pisces? Okay, Pisces, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. You know what the action is. It's time to do it. And then you have a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. <coughs> <coughs> and... This does not mean giving to the person the cold energy in this reading, okay? Think a little bit deeper than that. And then you have step out of your comfort zone, north node. 
The devil energy is a comfort zone. And I'm not trying to persuade you either way. This is a different circumstance for all of you guys. And you will um, you'll see these messages differently. All right, you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you guys who, who gave donations to the channel. And um, thank you guys for being with me till the end of this reading. And I love you guys. And we'll have our daily get together again tomorrow. Pisces, take care of you today and happy birthday. And I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.